Happy New Year and welcome to uh, 2024's first video. I'm going to do a quick play of Mega Man The Wily Wars. Let us begin. Hopefully you like the new intro and the new outro that I've made. Well, they're kind of spiffed up. They're not really new, but uh, yeah. So today I'm going to be doing a qu Mega Man The Wily Wars quick play. So for those who don't know, this is the 16-bit versions of Mega Man 1, 2, and 3. So I'm going to play a level from each and let us jump right into the game. Okay, Mega Man 1. Uh, oh, the, for some reason they have Mega Man 3's theme music playing. Mega Man 1. Not complaining, it's just that I uh, wasn't expecting that. So yeah, the, they, they released this on the uh, Mega Genesis Mini and uh, it has kind of some bad lag so yeah it's something you have to do, you'll have to get used to unless you find another way to play Mega Man The Wily Wars which is you know with better controls, uh, with better response time. But anyway, uh, let's see. Where shall we go with Mega Man 1? Let's go with Cut Man. All right, so let's take care of Mr. Scissors here and uh, hopefully we can kill him, well, destroy him. And this being the first Mega Man, they have a score um, tally up on the top there. Yeah, the, you know, Mega Man is kind of like whose line is it anyway, you know, the points don't matter. So yeah, I remember I was watching, uh, oh crap, I was watching a little bit of, uh, uh, what do you call it, whose line is it anyway, the one with the Drew Carey, the Drew Carey uh, years and, uh, oh, crap. Sorry, I lost picture there for a second. Alright, yeah, so I was watching Drew Carey and, uh, on whose line is it anyway, and uh, th those were my favorite uh, seasons because well, it just, uh, what do you call it? It's just when I discovered the show, it just my favorite years of that show. I know that there was an early British version that was in the late 80s, and then uh, they currently have, oh crap, okay. They currently have uh, the new seasons with Aisha Taylor. Yeah, for I'm kind of uh, old fashioned when it comes to, you know, reboots. I mean, like, I, I'll, I, I'll give them a try. I don't like them as much as the ones that I grew up with, but uh, you know, it's it's fine. Okay, let's go over here. I didn't watch too much of the new one. Anyway, I'm getting off track here. So Mega Man for the uh, Wily, the, the Wily Wars, um, there wasn't really a uh, US, I don't think there was a US version released or North American version released for Genesis, but I know that they released some in Japan and I think Okay, I might be wrong with my information, but um, I believe that this is the first uh, version of uh, North American version of Mega Man on the Sega Genesis Mini. And um, yeah, it's just uh, you know, it, it's pretty neat. Like this is kind of like almost like the uh, how Mario has the All Stars version with uh, you know um, Super Mario Brothers one, two, and three. Now we have, this is kind of like the remake compilation of the first Mega Man, uh, the first three Mega Man games on the NES. I just kind of wish that this did better, but uh, Nintendo was kind of dominating the uh, video game market back in the uh, mid-early 90s. Because more people had a Sega, uh, a Super Nintendo was compared to a Sega Genesis because I knew a handful of people who would, oh, that's my second 1-up. This game is generous with 1-ups. Usually I have to, like, usually I wouldn't see that many 1-ups in one level. But anyway. Ow. But yeah, this definitely feels on brand. Like, even a 16-bit version of the 8-bit version game. Oh. Oh, this guy. Can I get by him? Can I kill him before he gets to me? Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna make a run for it. Try and make it unscathed as I can to get to the boss here. Oh, I forgot there were little enemies here. They don't have that anymore in um, all the Mega Man games following this. No, no little tunnel. No enemies before you get to the boss. But yeah, I guess those enemies 
you know, or they're just to add a little more variety to the last part of the stage, but... Oh, some slowdown. I'm what... This, the slowdown almost feels like it's been added, because I don't remember the slowdown on the, uh, what do you call it? I don't remember the slowdown on the NES version. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, this guy's not too bad. Well, actually, I think I'm losing. I'm gonna machine gun him. Okay. The slowdown is helping me quite a bit. This guy just jumps around like a springboard. Okay. Okay, I think yeah, I got him on the ropes. Come on. Just about done for. Got him. And look at that. You kind of had to get a like a a post uh, a boss item, kind of like Castlevania. All right, so that was the first enemy. I'm gonna jump right into Mega Man 2 here. All right, next up we have Mega Man 2. This is a personal favorite of mine just because it was the first Mega Man game that I owned. And uh, I think I've probably mentioned this before on the previous Mega Man video I did for the NES. Is that uh, originally I wanted to get Mega Man 1, but uh, I got Mega Man 2 instead. Because, be well, it's, the timing just worked out for me. Alright, so the first person we're going to take on is... I'm going to go with Flashman because I like his music. His music is pretty catchy. Oh, let's see how it sounds on the um, Genesis sound chip here. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty. That's okay. But I'm more partial to the uh, NES version. You know, for nostalgic, uh, nostalgic sake. But yeah, you know, this is not too bad either. So, I'm just gonna get all. Get rid of these, whatever those guys are. Look, another 1-Up. But then again, uh, what do you call it? The 1-Ups I got in Mega Man 1 don't exactly carry into two, you know, separate games and all. I should, that should, that should go without saying. Oh, okay, I'm gonna leave you alone. Oh, crap. I'll leave you alone, too. All right, so I'm gonna go this way here, so I can get to this corner. Make a run for it. Oh, he got me on the way down. Yeah, so I know the Flashman stage well enough that it's not too much of a bother. But let's see how it goes when I take on, what's his name? Flashman himself. Hmm, he disappeared. Kind of like in the NES version. I'll let him come this way. Oh. Uh, make him disappear. There we go. Oh, he didn't disappear that time. Oh well. Okay, I'm going to save my E tank for the next rematch if I lose this one. Just because like, I like to be at as top of my game as I can when I take on a boss. Bring it on. Oh, crap. Oh. I don't know if I'm going to get through this one. Oh, he's cheating. He's freezing time. That's kind of like beating up somebody who's tied up. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to make this one. And I'm dead. Well, he's going to get it this time. Wait a minute. Where am I? Oh, okay. He's going to get it this time. Because I have an E-tank and a full life bar. He's going down. Oh, crap. Hopefully the clacking of the controller is not too dis distracting here. Oh, look at that. Just out of his range. No, not quite. At least he doesn't hit me twice in one go. 
Oh, look at that, we're kind of even. Oh. No, no. One more hit and uh, I got it. Okay. Um, there we go. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, he's gonna get it now. Oh, one more hit and he's done for. There we go. Hmm. Alright, so now let's go to Mega Man 3. Alright, let's load them up. See? This is the, uh... This is the, uh, theme song for Mega Man 3. I guess they added, uh... Well, like a version of this to Mega Man 1. Okay, so I'm not too familiar with Mega Man 3, so I'm gonna have to, um, eeny meeny miny mo this one. Let's go with Snake Man. It kind of kind of reminds me of the, uh, what do you call it, the Mega Man X villains, where they're kind of anthropomorphic animals. I think I said that right. Either way. Oh, okay, I vaguely remember the snake heads. Yeah, I have yet to play through oh, the Mega Man uh, collection on my uh, PS4. I also have it on, uh, not Switch, um, Steam Deck as well. And why do I have it on Steam Deck? Well, sometimes when things go on sale, I'm like, I have this, but it's, a f it's only a few dollars. I can have it on a digital, uh, what do you call it? I can have it on my digital library. As long as Steam never decides to delist or pull a game that you own in your personal library. Because I remember Sony kind of did something that uh, got on everybody's um, nerve there. They pulled like a whole bunch of TV shows that expired, like they had the rights expired to. And a bunch of people just lost, like, well, were, they were going to lose um, access to oh, some of their content that they paid for. So, yeah, that could, um, yeah, you could argue that, you know, you could argue that it's kind of like, uh, no. You can, ar you know what, I'm not going to get into that argument, but uh, it's, you know, with that, it kind of feels like if you had a DVD copy and suddenly... Um, the store, the company that sold those DVDs wanted to, wanted that completely wiped off of the face of the earth. And they came to your door and said, like, give us that DVD copy you, uh, brought. You can't own it anymore. To me, that's why I prefer physical media as opposed to having a full digital library. Like with Steam, I'm gonna assume that Steam is not gonna pull that card hopefully not anytime soon because i used to uh, be all for digital content and like until nintendo which is the disney of the video game world nintendo i like I, I i put like hundreds of dollars into the wii's virtual console and then when i lost that console i decided to uh what do you call it i decided to like i signed up for a nintendo id and then i lost the console and then I was like thinking, oh, I'll just buy another um, Wii and uh, set up my Nintendo ID and I can get access to my digital content. And uh, it, it didn't work that way. So I lost the, like, because all the digital purchases were wired to the uh, console itself. And uh, that's when I turned my back on digital libraries and all digital purchasing. Oh, I thought I was supposed to go down there. I didn't see that ladder in the background. All right, so I'm moving past. Oh, I hate these guys. These guys are kind of annoying. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, not going to make the same mistake. To, ah, I'm not going to go down there. We're going up. All right. So far, so good. This, like, uh, I vaguely remember. I probably, I'm pretty sure I played this game 
some time in my life, but I just only remember the snake heads. Oh. Okay. I might have played uh, Mega Man 3 for a few minutes when I got the uh, Mega Man collection. Because I usually when I get a collection like that, like for PS4 or whatever, I, pl I try to play each game for a little bit and see how I like it. I haven't really done that with some of my mini consoles, like um, on the Sega Genesis Mini, I haven't played Darius Gaiden, and I haven't played the Tetris on there, but well, sooner or later I'll get, I'll get around to it. Okay, let's see how hard this guy is here. It's usually how they uh, damage you. They walk right into you. Ow, I'm not gonna make this one. I think I'm doing good. Oh. Oh. And I'm dead. Okay, let's see if I could actually do this because uh, how many lives do I have left? I have no lives left, so this is my last chance. Well, let's see if I can end this video on a triumphant note. Try my best here. I forgot. He can only—he only has a limited amount of shots that he can go put on screen at once. It feels like, uh, what do you call? It? it feels like the more I shoot him, the less damage I do. Come on. I keep missing him. Come on, close. Oh, and he got me. I had three more, he had three more bars. Oh well. So that was Mega Man 3. Well, I, actually, that the entire video is Mega Man The Wily Wars. So, yeah, it's good to be in uh, 2024, another year to start new. And uh, I hope to keep this going, like, to hope to keep the channel going well into 2024 and 2025 that's my uh plans but anyway i'd like to thank you for joining me today and we will catch you next time with a different game until then we'll see ya have a good one